Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is a really nice, simple, reinforced gift box. Um, my dad actually asked me to make him one. Um, this is a gift that he is um, that he's purchased for a competition that he's doing um, within the um, Port of Plymouth Canoeing Association that he's a member of. So him and his kayaking friends have entered lots of pictures into a photograph competition and um, the prize, my dad's part of the committee, um, so he's chosen the prize and it is this very heavy, very gorgeous, um, it's obviously a sea theme as you can tell there with the lovely little dies and then in here is this um, hand blown um, jellyfish paperweight and it's absolutely stunning. Again, I'll share the links if anybody's interested in, in this kind of thing, um, because it is, I, I think it's such a lovely gift. Um, and it's relevant to, obviously, being in the sea at one with the water. So this is incredibly heavy. You heard me then when I dropped it down. So that's why I wanted to use the craft card and reinforce everything. So this is a very solid box with four layers of um, card on the bottom there and um, yeah it's just perfect for this and I just think it all keeps in tone it's really natural really rustic um, you can obviously make this box in anything you want but this is just showing you the design I've done and I've used the rope there again because I just think it's got a really nautical feel about it so that's what we're going to make today so let's okay, crack so you on you are going to need just take everything off here so these are the dies that I'm using um, this is my mum's stash so she got these two here are from a very old magazine well, the, the issue's old, the card makers collection. Again, I'll find um, who stocks it and you might be able to still pick it up on eBay and stuff. But um, yeah, these ones, so the, um, the, the shell and the anchor is from the magazine. And then the bird and the lighthouse and the other lighthouse she thinks she got from eBay. But again, I'll try and find links. So what I've done is I've die cut them all three times. And now you can hear they are solid almost like chipboard little pieces now. Um, so there's that one, the little um, shell. If I bring them all up there actually, you can see how cute they are. So they're gonna be the decoration for this. And as I mentioned, it's it's a real kind of simple um, piece because that, um, I wanted it to kind of keep in keeping with the, um, the paperweight. So that's why I'm using my favorite craft card. So you need three pieces. So you need one piece of seven and a half by, sorry, two pieces of seven. So this is um, A4 standard length. So it's 11 and five eighths of an inch by seven and a half. Two pieces of that. And then you need two, uh, one piece, sorry, for the lid, which is seven and five eighths of an inch squared. Okay, so I've already prepared one of the Okay, so grab here. one of your seven and a half by A4. So mine, like I said, is 11 and 5 eighths of an inch. And you want to score at three and a half all the way down and at seven all the way down. And then rotate it and you want to score at three inches, making sure that that half inch tab is on the bottom here. Okay, then flip the whole thing around this way and score at three and a half. Okay, don't ask me why I've done that, I just have. I think it was because of the, I was trying to work out how to get the most folded inside and it was, the measurements were slightly out and because it's a four card, sometimes that is five and three quarters and sometimes it's far, um, sorry, 11 and three quarters or 11 five eighths of an inch. So just follow what I did there anyway, it's easy. Um, okay, so now we just need to do some cutting. So quickly just burnish those four lines like so and then with the tab on the right hand side you want to cut up that middle score line and I'm just removing the bulk like so just so it's easy to put together you can see now I've got that gap there and again then on this little half inch tab just cut up there and then just notch that out like so and then go along here to the next score line and again just notching that one out and removing that completely like so and then you'll be to this one and again just cut down like so 
and this will help because the shorter, so the three and a half by three and a half, so the tabs now on my left hand side, these three and a half by three and a half squares are the base, these slightly shorter ones are the bits that's going to be reinforced and by removing that little bit off here, when you fold them and then put it on a side, you'll get a nice join, whereas if you didn't cut that bit off it would be really all like bulky because we're going to be sticking these down inside themselves just to make it nice and strong. Okay, so you want to do that twice, so you then have two pieces like this. Then grab your lid, so this was that piece of um, seven and five eighths of an inch squared, and pick a side and you want to score it one, two, and then five and five eighths of an inch and six and uh, five eighths of an inch. Then rotate again and score the same. So at one, two, five and five eighths of an inch and six and five eighths of an inch. Okay, and you should have that grid effect with the large square in the middle. This is just a standard reinforced lid. Okay, and again, just go along and burnish all of those score lines. Okay, and then what you want to do, any side to start with, you've got these four squares all together there, that little grouping. We're going to just cut right the way down, like so, and again down. So we've just cut down both of them, okay? Then rotate it and cut this one out completely. As I've cut it, I'm just kind of cutting it on an angle there again because we'll be folding this all in on each other so now you just have this one piece and then just cut that top square off and then you just want to make little tabs now so just take some little chunks off the corners there and then again on this top one just notch that off a bit go along to this one here and again cut all the way down and just tidy that one up cut down the next one rotate notch this one out and again, remove that one. And again, just make that into a little tab, like so. Okay, rotate the whole thing, and you want to just do exactly that now. Okay, so here. that's now what you should have as the shape for your lid. Now we need to just put that together. So I'm just grabbing some of my glue here. And basically what we're going to do is put um, glue on the tops of these little tabs here. Um, fold all those in and then we just fold in the longer tabs on top of that so squeezing some glue out this is nearly on its way out there we go I'll do those two at the same time like so I'll just bring them around like so and I'll bring that one down again just hold those two together just make sure you've got really nice right angles you can wipe off any glue and stuff okay so you can see now I've got that nice lid coming together and then just do the same on the other two okay so that's now the top of it and then we just need to put all these bits inside to reinforce it so pop some glue again you don't need to go too crazy just enough to kind of stick it in place like so and then fold that whole piece inside pop it on its side and with your bone tool just go over and spread all of that glue out and at the same time you'll burnish that edge even more and it'll just give it a really nice finish as you can see now and that once that glue dries that'll become really strong so again just go around each of those sides now just folding them all in on each other okay so now you've got a really strong little reinforced lid so now we just need to put the main case together so first of all you want to stick the tabs so I'm just gonna you can use red tape for this if you want but I'm just gonna use my glue um, just to keep making it obviously very very strong now before we stick this one no we do this one first sorry so yeah so just stick that one over the top here like so again just using your bone tool you can see there when I run it over it squeezes out any glue so I can just make sure I get a really nice join and as I always say, that's why I love using the craft card because it just hides all that glue. You never even notice it. Like so. Just turn it over and just again rub out any glue there. So now these two middle ones, making sure we do the right ones. So 
Now I, so you just stuck it down that way and this tab and this tab were on your left hand side. Flip it over, so now the tabs are on the right hand side and that means all of these ones at the bottom are your three and a half by three and a half squares, that's the base. These ones here are all slightly shorter and these are the ones that are going to fold in on top, in, you know, on top of themselves. So these two in the middle, because we've stuck this tab together now, we can, and actually we can do this third one as well. So we can stick all three of these down and then just that one at this end here, we have to wait till the end when we've put it all together. So just, just like you did for the reinforced lid, as long as you really get it on the edges, like so, and then just fold each one down, and then with your bone tool, just go along making sure that the top there is nicely burnished and all stuck down nicely. And like I said, by cutting off all those little bits on the edges, you can see there's little gaps here, so now when I bring that up on its side, it fills in perfectly, like so. Now what we want to do is stick this one down here and then we will fold that one in. So pop some glue again on here, like so. Fold this one completely down and then fold this one over leaving this one up. Okay, again spread that out and then we can pop some glue on here like so. and then you're going to fold that one inside and again just using your bone tool like so. so now all we need to do is stick down our base and all of these will fold in like so so just decide if you've got a preference to what you want to be the front I'm going to say this is my back here so with this being the back I want this piece to go down last so I'm going to stick one of the sides in first and just focusing the glue on the edges mainly fold that one over like so then this one's going to go down because this is the back so again just put the glue all around the edges fold that one down and then this last one so there are four layers of card on that base with that glue in between each one when that dries it will become incredibly solid and it will hold very heavy things so it was perfect for this paperweight so and then remembering what was my front get your lid and it will fit on really snug like so and there you just got a really straightforward simple but incredibly strong reinforced box okay, so now so I just I'm need just to decorate it put my little lighthouse like so I'm gonna put my seashell yeah, I'm just putting a little bit of glue just to make sure obviously sticks in place I'll just rub some of that off so it doesn't really come out over the edges that one can go like so and then my bird obviously you don't want to go too high with the bird because you've got your in fact if I put the lid on there then I know exactly like so and just put a little bit there we go so there you have it so that is a really straightforward reinforced box that measures three and a half by three and a half and in height it is, uh, oh my mat's upside down, one, two, three, four, five. So it's five by three and a half box. So this is a great one for candles, anything heavy, paperweights obviously, um, and anything else you might find for it. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.